In this video, I'll teach you how to force a task to start on a specific day of the month in Microsoft Project. In one of the Microsoft Project user forums recently, there was a user who asked how to force Microsoft Project to start a particular task on the last Thursday of any month. The solution to that problem involves creating a calendar. But I can tell you, creating that calendar is not intuitive at all. In this video, I'll teach you how to do it. So let's get started. In this sample project, we have a very interesting scheduling challenge. In this project, first of all, notice that we have three build tasks named Build 1, Build 2, and Build 3. It is a company requirement that after every build task, there is a two-hour review meeting to review the results of the build. So you can see there's the Build 1 review meeting, the review meeting for Build 2, and the review meeting for Build 3. Each of those meetings is two hours. The scheduling challenge, however, is that these build review meetings can only be held on the second Tuesday of the next available month. So what that means is, for the first build review meeting, it needs to be scheduled the second Tuesday of April. And for the build 2 review meeting, it needs to be scheduled for the second Tuesday of May. And for the build 3 review meeting, it will need to be scheduled for the second Tuesday of June. In order to meet this scheduling requirement, I'll first need to create a custom calendar that schedules work only on the second Tuesday of each month. Then I'll need to apply this custom calendar as a task calendar to each of the build review meetings. To create this custom calendar, I need to click the Project tab to display the Project Ribbon, and then click the Change Working Time button to display the Change Working Time dialog. In this dialog, I need to create a new calendar, so I'll click the Create New Calendar button. In the Create New Base Calendar dialog, Microsoft Project gives me two options to create the calendar. I can either create a brand new one from scratch with no holidays, or I can make a copy of the standard calendar. Well, what I want to do is create a brand new base calendar. And I'll give it the name Second Tuesday of each month to be descriptive. When I click the OK button, Microsoft Project creates this new calendar. Notice that initially, every Sunday and every Saturday are marked as non-working time, and every Monday through Friday is currently marked as working time. We need to change that. Here's how. I need to click the Work Weeks tab at the bottom, and then make sure that the default item is selected in the Work Weeks data grid. Then I click the Details button. In this dialog, here is where I can specify Tuesdays as the only working day. Sunday is set to use Project Default Working Time, which means non-working time. Saturday is also set the same way. Use project default times for these days, so Sunday and Saturday are already non-working time. Monday, we need to make it non-working time, so I'll select Monday and then choose the option Set Days to Non-Working Time. Then I'll go ahead and select Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 
and again choose the option Set Days to Non-Working Time. When I click the OK button, you can now clearly see that Tuesdays are the only days that are set as working time, as indicated by the white background color in the calendar grid up at the top of the dialog. All right, so far so good. This is where the scheduling challenge really gets interesting. What I need to do now is to mark the 1st, 3rd, 4th, and if available, 5th Tuesdays of every month as non-working time, which would leave only the 2nd Tuesday of the month as working time. To do this, I need to click the Exceptions tab to ex display the Exceptions data grid. Then I need to select the first Tuesday of the current month in the calendar grid. And then in the Exceptions data grid, I need to type in the name of this exception. I'll just call this First Tuesday to keep it simple. I'll press the Tab key, then the right arrow key to create that exception. Next, I need to make it recur. So I'll click the Details button. And in the Details dialog, I'll select Monthly, the first Tuesday of every month. I'll put in 25 occurrences and click the OK button. This now makes the first Tuesday of every month as non-working time. Let's do it again. I'll select the third Tuesday. In the data grid, I'll type in a descriptive name, third Tuesday, tab key, right arrow key, click the details button, select monthly, third Tuesday of the month, put in 25 occurrences, click OK. Let's do it another time. I'll select the fourth Tuesday. I'll call it fourth Tuesday. Tab key, right arrow key, click the details button, select the monthly option, the fourth Tuesday of every month. Let's go ahead and put in 25 occurrences, click OK. And let's do it one final time for the fifth Tuesday of the month. Let's give it the name Fifth Tuesday. Tab key, right arrow key, click the Details button. We'll make it monthly, the last Tuesday of every month, and after 25 occurrences, and click the OK button. If I scroll through, the calendar grid, I want you to notice that the second Tuesday of every month is working time, but every other day is non-working time. When you finish creating this calendar, then go ahead and click the OK button. After creating the custom calendar, the final step is to apply this custom calendar as a task calendar for each of the build review meetings. Here's how I'll need to do that. I'll select the first review meeting. I'll press and hold the control key. I'll select the second one and the third one. Then I'll release the control key. Now all I need to do is to right mouse click on any of the three selected tasks and on the shortcut menu to choose the information item. Microsoft Project will display the very interesting dialog named Multiple Task Information. The name comes from the fact that I have multiple tasks selected. I need to click the Advanced tab to display the Advanced page of the dialog. And then finally, I need to click the Calendar Pick List button and choose the second Tuesday of each month custom calendar I just created. When I click the OK button, 
watch Microsoft Project move the Build 3 review meeting task. Notice it jumped from the week of June the 2nd to the week of June the 9th. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Build 2 review meeting task. Ah, there it is, the second Tuesday of May. And the Build 1 review meeting task? Yep, there we go. It's the second Tuesday of April. So that's how to create and apply this unusual calendar to schedule tasks only to occur on a particular day of each month. Wow! I think you will agree with me there was nothing obvious about how to create and use that custom calendar, was there? I sure hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.